Excuse me. Yeah. What kind of camera you got there? Oh, I have a Canon R6. Nice. Yeah. That's a that's a high end camera. Yeah. It's a um, mirrorless, right? Yes. Nice. Yes, yes. So you're you're pretty good at like pictures and images and shapes and things, right? Yeah. Let me show you something. Which one's obviously bigger, red or blue? Red. Red's obviously bigger, right? How about now? Which is bigger now? Blue. Blue's bigger. How about now? Red. <laughs> <laughs> all wrong answers. They're all exactly the same. Uh. <laughs> That's for you to keep. Oh. Can I ask you a, a few more questions based on the idea that we, we don't see things right? Are you a good person? I would say so, yes. Are you a good person? Well, um... Depends who you ask. <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm asking, just I think judge so. yourself. Okay. I think so. Let's see if you're not seeing things straight, okay? Have you ever told a lie? Yes. What do you call people who tell lies? So what are you? <laughs> Have you ever taken something that didn't belong to you ever? Candy, an answer from somebody's test. Yeah. Leave leave work a few minutes early. Okay. Yeah. What do you call people who steal? A thief? Is it? Is it <laughs> so, so what are you? A thief, yeah. You're a lying thief. Have your parents ever punished you? Don't lie now. <laughs> so your parents? You, okay, okay. So what? So you haven't always honored your father and your mother. Not always, right? So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, and rebellious. Is that a good person? No. And if you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? Let's make it simple. He said, he said, you shall not lie. Did you break that one? Yeah. If you break a law, are you innocent or guilty? Guilty. You're right. And should God let guilty people into heaven? So where would you have gone if you had died yesterday? Well, not to heaven. <laughs> to hell, right? Yeah. So, you know, I, I didn't say that. You did. You just said that about yourself, right? Yeah. I only asked you questions. Yeah. But do you know what God did for you so you can still be forgiven? What did God do for you? That's right. You're talking about Jesus dying on the cross for your sins and rising it again on the third day. Isn't that right? Yeah. Does that mean everybody goes to heaven? I would assume so, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. no? He made it possible for you to go to heaven. You need to respond. Do you know what you need to do? No. Let me tell you. Jesus said, Jesus was speaking. He who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to do? He who believes in me, in, in what? Well, Jews and Muslims believe in God. Are they going to heaven? No. Let me explain. Jesus was speaking. Jesus said, he who believes in me has everlasting life. What do you have to believe? Jesus. Do Jews and Muslims believe Jesus is their Lord and Savior? No. no. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. John 3.36 says, He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. God is a trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You must believe in the Son to be saved. Why? Because the Son died for you on the cross. Jews and Muslims don't believe that Jesus died for them on the cross or that He rose again. That's the key to heaven and hell. Now you know, right? Yeah. And because Jesus is Lord, you must repent. You must repent and continue to repent. It's an attitude of trying to obey God. You will fail at that, but you will come closer and closer day by day. But you'll never make it to perfect obedience on this side of eternity. Does that make sense? Yes. But if you're truly a follower of Jesus, you're going to try. Mm -hmm. the, the, the obeying Jesus doesn't save you. Mm -hmm. But when you truly believe in Jesus and He saves you, you will try to obey Jesus. See the, see the difference? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, do you believe this message I just shared with you from the Bible? It's called the Gospel. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that Jesus died for you and that by yeah. faith in Jesus you're saved? Yeah. Well, you can go to heaven. Now, I want to make sure, is, is it okay if I pray for you yeah. to receive Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. I want to make sure that you tr understand, okay? Yeah. Four questions. Do you understand that you, are, you and I, all of us, are sinners deserving of hell? broke God's law. Do you believe that Jesus is God and He died for us on the cross, paid the penalty for our sins? Do you believe He rose again on the third day after dying for us? Here's the last part. Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? 
Let me pray for you. What's your first name? My name's Adolfo. Adolfo? Christina. Christina. May I touch your shoulders? Yeah. That's yeah, sure. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for Adolfo and Christina. Would you please save them by the gospel they just heard and understood and believed? Wash away their sins by Jesus' blood. Change them into new creations and send them out into the world as missionaries for the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Listen, it's simple faith in Jesus that saves you. Good works don't save you, but you should start producing good works because you're saved. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so make sure you know the difference between a real believer and a fake believer. Real believers and fake believers believe the same thing, okay? But fake believers never produce fruit. Those, those beliefs don't ever change them. Real believers change over time because God changed them into a new person and He's transforming them into this new person, okay? Do you go to a church somewhere? Uh, we haven't gone in a while. Actually. What church did you used to go to? What, what was it's it? It's a Catholic church. Okay. Do you know the, the difference, the main difference between Catholicism and Christianity? Let me show you in a real few seconds. Do me a favor, read out loud this verse right here, for by grace. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest, lest anyone should boast. Do you know what that's telling you? <clears throat> It's telling you how you're saved. You're saved by faith, believing in Jesus, okay? Do you notice this is it's not of works? Do you know what that means? No. You don't have to work. You don't have to do any good deeds to be saved. You're saved just by faith. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Do you believe what God is saying in, in this verse? Yes. And in many other verses that say the same thing? Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the reason I'm saying that to you is because the Catholic Church does not believe God. Are you going to go with what God says or what an organization says? Mm -hmm. So I'd encourage you to find a good Christian church that mm -hmm. teaches the Bible and lives out the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's for you. Okay. My name is Tony. My email is in there, okay? Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you.